Hello friends, welcome to this video session about Ledger and its applications. In this session, we'll study about uh, Ledger, properties of Ledger, basic concepts of uh, transmission in Ledger action, uh, basic concepts like uh, absorption, spontaneous emission, stimulated emission, and uh, light amplification. Then we'll study about uh, the three-level Ledger and four-level Ledger, uh, types of ledger types of ledgers like uh, solid state ledger and gas ledger in gas ledger we will study about uh, helium neon gas ledger and its working too then we will discuss about some of the applications of the ledger so without wasting any time let's start from introduction to ledger a ledger is basically an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission invention of ledger became possible only with the concept of stimulated emission and this concept of stimulated emission was given by the albert einstein in uh, 1917 which was very helpful in invention of ledger beam in 1960, a physicist named Maimon invented a laser beam. A laser system is basically a device that emits coherent light. Here the coherent light is a beam of electromagnetic energy. It is a beam of electromagnetic energy in which all the waves have same frequency and same phase. Next we have properties of ledger. First property of ledger is it is monochromatic. Monochromatic means in a ledger beam all the waves have same wavelength or you can say it has uh, it uh, all the waves have same color. And the second property is divergence and directivity. The ledger beam is very less divergence and collimated and travels long distances means they are well collimated and travels long distances with very less spread the third property of co of uh, laser is coherence we have already discussed about coherent in first slide that they have same frequency and phase and moves precisely together through time and space and the uh, next property of laser is brightness brightness of a beam is defined as the power emitted per unit surface area per unit solid angle now we will discuss about some basic concept of uh, transmission in laser action first we have absorption have a look at the first image this one for absorption process in this process a photon here you can see you can see the photon is striked over an atom which is present at lower level this photon is striked over this atom which is at lower level to bring it the, a photon is striked over an atom at the lower state to bring it at the upper level here the lower level have less energy and upper level have higher energy lower le level is also called as ground state and the upper level is also called as excited state and these are denoted as E1 and E2 where E stands for energy level and this process of absorbing a photon by an atom and reaching to its excited state is known as absorption process next concept is spontaneous emission before discussing about spontaneous emission you must be known that lifetime of an atom in its excited state is 10 raised to power minus 8 second uh, this is a very important point to remember 
and sometimes questions can be directly asked that uh, what is lifetime of an atom in it, its uh, excited state then your answer should be that lifetime of an atom is uh, in its excited state is 10 raised to power minus 8 second after the lifetime is over that is after 10 raised to power minus 8 seconds this excited atom releases a photon in random direction and reaches back to the lower energy level that is ground level and this process is known as spontaneous emission you can uh, see the process of spontaneous emission in the middle diagram here uh, the photon is released in random direction next we have stimulated emission in this process a photon is striked on an atom which is in its excited state before its lifetime to bring it into the lower energy level in this way the photon released is in phase with the uh, photon striked and thus results into stimulated emission this diagram uh, you can see how a stimulated emission takes place now we'll study about some of the important terms in laser action uh, first is metastable state it is a state which exists between ground state and lower uh, sorry ground state or lower energy state and the excited state and uh, a lifetime of metastable state is larger than excited state which is about 10 raised to power minus 3 seconds and uh, this time results into longer stay of an atom and uh, at this state atom cannot emit radiation without further supply of energy uh, next to uh, the most important term is population inversion in this state when more than half of the atoms are in its excited state here you can see uh, more than half of the atoms are in its excited state next term is pumping pumping is just an absorption process and external energy is supplied in the form of voltage or light to the gain medium of the uh, laser system and uh, it, it produces excited state in the atom this is called as pumping now we will discuss about three level laser in three level laser we have uh, three Le uh, levels first is ground state and the uh, second is metastable and the uppermost is excite highly excited state here initially an uh, atom is excited to the short lived high energy state uh, this short lived uh, high energy state is uh, approximately about 10 raised to a minus 8 seconds and uh, then quickly decayed to the intermediate metastable level and it's a uh, lifetime is 10 raised to a minus 3 second and uh, when more number of uh, more than half of the atoms are at the meta level metastable level then population inversion takes place and uh, this results into a ledger transition next we have four level ledger in four level ledger we have uh, four layers uh, sorry four levels first is uh, ground state then next to it is lower ledger level and then upper ledger level which is metastable state and uh, the uppermost is highly excited level in four level ledger first pumping is performed you know what is pumping and then population inversion takes place Pop, uh, this uh, population inversion uh, takes place into the generation of laser beam and then the atoms are decayed back, back to the ground state now we will discuss about types of laser first type of the laser uh, we have is solid state laser in solid state laser we will discuss about ruby laser 
ruby laser uh, is a historically first one to be discovered it was the first ever the laser and uh, it consists of a ruby road you can see the red colored here it is the ruby road which is formed of xenon flash tube a suitable cavity to reflect the light from the flash tube to the ruby road and a highly voltage supplied to uh, give electrical energy to the flash tube uh, a ruby laser is a three level laser and all of the working is same as a three level laser as we have already discussed here the ruby road is uh, consist uh, is is surrounded by the two mirrors uh, first is uh, fully reflected and uh, the second one is partially reflected uh, when voltage power is supplied to the flash tube then the atoms of xenon get excited and they uh, reaches to its excited state and uh, after their lifetime they decay to the ground level and releases a photon this photon strikes to the uh, fully excite uh, sorry fully reflected part and uh, this uh, and the photon get reflect and uh, again strike to an atom of the xenon and results into and this process uh, results into a large number of photons and this uh, beam of the photons can pass through partially reflected surface and this uh, forms a laser beam next type of laser we have is uh, gas laser in gas laser we will study about helium neon gas laser in helium neon gas laser there is a, a tube which is filled with helium and neon gases and uh, one side of the tube is fully reflected and another side of the tube is partially reflected which results into the laser output and this tube is connected with the discharge electrodes and uh, the voltage is supplied to these electrodes when the power is switched on an energetic electron collisionally excites a helium neon or helium atom to excited state this helium this excited helium atom collides with unexcited neon atoms and the atoms exchange internal energy uh, with unexcited neon atoms this energy exchange process occurs with the high probability only because of the accidental near equality of the two excited uh, excitation of energies uh, thus the population of sorry the, thus the purpose of in uh, population inversion is fulfilled and this population inversion results into a laser beam which uh, can pass through the partially silvered mirror or you can say partially reflected uh, portion now we will discuss about uh, applications of laser uh, lasers are used in scientific areas where uh, in scientific applications like uh, spectroscopy heat treatment and lunar laser ranging and in medical applications in laser eye surgery and in soft tissue surgery they are also used in military purpose in military applications uh, they are used as defensive countermeasures and laser sight and in, in, in industrial and commercial applications they are used as laser cutting and laser welding this uh, with this we reaches to the end of the lecture uh, lecture thank you